I got bit by an exotic mosquito. I think I have bird flu. Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're going to explore the medieval walled city of Rotenburg, Aub der Tauber, which translates to Red Fortress on the River. At one time, Rotenburg was the second largest city in Germany and considered to be the perfect example of town life. From the food they just grab it by the and go for it. to the shops, Rotenburg has a very quaint feel to it. But if you're looking for a little bit of an edge to this cozy town, the medieval crime museum is where it's at. It archives over a thousand years of German law and order, with over 50,000 objects ranging from shame masks to thumb screws to iron maidens and even chastity belts you get a sense of what life was like in Germany during the Middle Ages. If you want more medieval history, look no further than a man that looks like Sammy Hagar and has the dry wit of Bill Murray. This is Hans Georg Baumgartner, and he is the Night Watchman of Rotenburg. I'm the only one who's still around. <laughs> still doing it. Thank God. <laughs> in the olden days, the Night Watchman kept the city safe at night, armed with only a hail bard, a lantern, and a fire horn. It sounds like it was an important profession, doesn't it? Yes. But it was. <laughs> this job was considered a lowly profession, like a grave digger or executioner, but it had its perks. It's not all night, and it pays better too. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> but times have changed and the Night Watchman of the 21st century offers guided walks to anybody interested in learning Rotenberg's intriguing history. You might hear him explain how the citizens of old disposed of their household waste. According to the Night Watchman, these streets had a gutter system that allowed people to throw their garbage into it, which would then be washed away by the rain. When it was really hot and dry, nothing went downhill. Because of this, the streets would become infested with stench, plague, and disease. It wasn't romantic at all. In the summer, in the city. <laughs> uh, I stole that out. In the summer, in the city. You may even hear Baumgartner talk about the drinking contest of 1631, which saved Rotenberg from being destroyed in the Thirty Years' War. We were 6,000 and they were 40,000. We were Protestants and they were Catholics. Legend has it that the town mayor outdrank a Catholic army general, thus thwarting any attempt on the city's life. You can see this commemorated in the clock tower of the main square. Or you may even hear the origin story of Ring Around the Rosie. Ashes, ashes means all these dead people were creamy. And we all fall means they thought God had sent it and that's the end of all days. That's the meaning of that nice little song. <laughs> or he might tell you about a little pub named Hell. So when you people walk around and there's somebody telling you, Go to Hell! It's a good recommendation. <laughs> Tom Gardner doesn't expect you to remember everything he tells you. But don't worry, he's got you covered. I put it on a DVD. <laughs> yes. That was a lot of work. <laughs> well, that's it for this episode. Join me next time as we head out for Heidelberg and the journey that awaits us there. We'll see you next time.